Hi guys, this is O Level Chemistry, paper 12, June 2015, question 31. In the extraction of iron from its ore in the blast furnace, limestone is added. Limestone is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. What is the function of limestone? To decrease the melting point of iron? No, that is not the function of limestone at all. The function of limestone is to react with SiO2, which is an acidic impurity, and to eliminate it from the contents that are present. So uh, to produce carbon monoxide for the reduction of the iron ore, no, that is not a function of calcium carbonate. To produce heat to melt the iron form, no. And to remove sand, yes, because sand has the major component of SiO2 present in it and SiO2 is acidic in nature. In order to remove this impurity, Calcium carbonate, which is basic in nature, will react with SiO2. This will produce CaSiO3 and it would also release carbon dioxide gas. So in this way, calcium carbonate removes the acidic impurities in sand. In other words, it removes sand. So the correct option for this question is option D. Question 32. Two pieces of iron, one with zinc attached and the other with copper attached are placed separately in water as shown. Which statements are correct? The iron in Y will not rust. Yes, because it is attached to zinc. Zinc is a more reactive metal than iron. So it would protect iron from rusting while itself it would rust, which means it would undergo oxidation. So statement one is correct. Statement two, the water in Z will turn blue which means that the copper would react with water and produce copper two positive ions, which are blue in color. This will not happen because copper is less reactive than iron. So in Z, iron would rust by reacting with water and copper would not react. So statement two is incorrect. Three, the zinc in Y will be oxidized. Yes, because the zinc would react with water in preference to iron, it would be oxidized to Z and two positive ions. Statement three is correct. Since statements 1 and 3 are correct, option C is the correct option for this question. Question 33. A diagram of a biogas generator is shown. Okay. The gas, if collected, can be used as a fuel. So, on decaying vegetable matter, the biogas that is produced is CH4, methane. However, if the gas is allowed to escape, it becomes an atmospheric pollutant. Yes, it is a greenhouse gas. So what is this gas? Carbon monoxide, no. Methane, yes. Nitrogen, no. Sulfur dioxide, no. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 34. Which statements about alkanes is correct? Alkanes are readily polymerized? No. This is the property of alkenes, they are readily polymerized. Alkanes react with bromine by addition? No, alkenes react with bromine by addition. If alkenes had to react, they would react by substitution. Alkanes react with chlorine by substitution? Yes, this is a property of alkanes. They would react with halogens via substitution reaction. Butane has three more carbon atoms and eight more hydrogen atoms than methane. So let's see. Carbon in methane is 1, so CH4, and carbon in butane is 4, 3, 4, H10. So the number of carbon atoms is 1 in methane, number of carbon atoms is 4 in butane. 4 minus 1 gives us 3. So this statement is correct as far as carbon is concerned. There are 3 more carbon atoms present in butane. Now for hydrogen, there are 4 hydrogen atoms in methane, and there are 10 hydrogen atoms in butane. So 10 minus 4 gives us a value of 6. And the statement says 8 more hydrogen atoms. So this makes this statement incorrect. So the correct option for this question is option C. Question 35. Which statement about members of the homologous series of alcohols is correct? An alcohol with two carbon atom in each molecule is called methanol. No, a two carbon containing alcohol is called ethanol. Butanol 
can be combusted to give carbon dioxide and water only? Yes. Butanol is C4 H9 OH. Since it contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen only, upon combustion, the product form would be carbon dioxide and water. So this statement is correct. Ethanol is the only alcohol that can be oxidized to a carboxylic acid. No, all alcohols are oxidized to carboxylic acid. Ethanol would form ethanoic acid, methanol would form methanoic acid, propanol would form propanoic acid, so on and so forth. So, this statement is also incorrect. Next, propane can be made by the catalyzed addition of steam to ethene. No. The catalyzed addition of steam to ethene would form ethanol, and in order to form propanol, it would be the catalyzed addition of steam to propene. So this statement is also incorrect. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 36. When cracked, one mole of a compound X produces one mole of propene and one mole of hydrogen. So if we add the two products together, we end up with C3H8 as the hydrocarbon X. What type of compound is X? C3H8. So this refers to Cn, H2n, which would make it 6, plus 2 makes it 8. So this is an alkane. So is it an alcohol? No. Is it an alkane? Yes. An alkene? No. A carboxylic acid? No. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 37. The diagram shows the partial structure of a polymer. Now, since we can see a C double bond O and a single bond NH group, this is a polyamide. Which pair of reagents could have been used to form this polymer? So let's identify the repeat units present. One of the repeat units would start from this point because this is a amide bond and it would end here because this is the other amide bond. So this would be one monomer. The other monomer would start from exactly where the first monomer ended and it would end at the next amide bond. So the two monomers that we would have would be a box with diagonal lines in it attached to two NH2 groups. This is not present in options A and B, eliminating them. It is present in option C and it is present in option D. So the next monomer is two C double O bond O groups attached to a black box. So this would be two C double H groups attached to a black box. It is not there in option C because the other monomer present also contains an NH2 group, which is not a requirement for this polymer. And in D, we've got a black box with C double OH on both sides, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 38. Which of the following has not been prepared by reacting a carboxylic acid with an alcohol? So the product formed on a reaction of carboxylic acid with an alcohol would be an ester, which would mean that if one of these is not an ester, then that would not have been made by the reaction of a carboxylic acid with an alcohol. So what we need to locate is the ester bond in these molecules. So in A, we have found the ester bond, C double bond O, single bond O. So A is not the answer. In B, we also have found the ester bond. B is not the answer as well because presence of the ester bond indicates that this has been formed on a reaction with alcohol by a carboxylic acid. In structure C, we have found a C double bond O group, but a single bond O is missing on either side. So this is not an ester. So option C should be the correct option. And in option D, we have found the ester bond. So D is also formed by a reaction of a carboxylic acid with an alcohol. So Eliminating options A, B, and D, C becomes the correct option for this question. Question 39. Which statement about the properties of the four alkanes from methane to butane is not correct? Okay. 
we need to find out which of these statements is not correct. Successive members of the series differ in formula by CH2. This is true for all members of any homologous series that successive members differ by a CH2 group. So this statement is correct. The increase in boiling point, yes. As the MR increases, the boiling point increases. So this statement is also correct. The increase in viscosity as the mass of the compound increases, its viscosity increases. So the greater the mass, the greater the viscosity. This statement is also correct. They share the same empirical formula. So they're talking about alkane. So the first member of the alkane homologous series is CH4 methane. And the second member is C2H6 ethane. The empirical formula for methane would be CH4, whereas the empirical formula for ethane would be CH3 because CH3 times 2 would give us C2H6. And since CH4 and CH3 are not the same formula, so we can conclude that they do not have the same empirical formula, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 40. Which of these polymers is a protein? So a protein consists of a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen atom. So in A, we've got carbon and hydrogen, and we've got chlorine, which should not be there. And we have oxygen and nitrogen atoms missing. So A is not the option. In B, we've got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen present. Nitrogen is missing. So B is not the option. In C, we've got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen present. Again, nitrogen is missing, so C is not the option. In D, we've got carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. All four elements present that should be there in proteins. This makes option D the correct option for this question. Question 